Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we take up MCQs based on important articles from the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topics which we are going to cover today are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. Now our first question is based on this article which appeared on page 11 in the Indian Express. Context is that Union Cabinet approved significant changes in the pricing regime for the domestic natural gas. Under the ambit of the APM, that is Administered Price Mechanism, which mainly applies to the gas produced by legacy fields or nomination fields of natural oil companies like Oil and Natural Gas Production ONGC Limited and Oil India Limited. Now, what is this nomination fields? These are acreages that the government awarded to ONGC and Oil India Limited before 1999. After which, auctions became the basis of awarding oil and gas blocks. Now, this new formula is based on the recommendations of Kirti Parik panel and will replace the formula which based on modified Ranga Rajan formula since 2014. Now, why we have taken this article? Because UPSC has been asking questions based on important developments related to field of economy. And to be specific, it has been asking questions related to the developments in the field of energy security. As in year 2019, it has asked question based on the coal sector. So let's come to the practice question. Here, you have to identify correct statements with reference to new gas pricing formula. The first statement is, administered price mechanism will be set for a six-month period based on the volume weighted prices prevailing at four international gas trading hubs. Now this statement is incorrect. Why? Because this was previous gas pricing formula. Now the key change in the pricing formula include benchmarking the price of EPM gas to the price of imported crude instead of gas price in four international gas trading hubs. Now what does it mean? That the price of EPM gas will be 10% of the average price of the Indian crude basket in the preceding month. So earlier price was set for a 6 month period. Now it will be revised monthly. Now let's come to the second statement. The changes in the pricing formula for domestic APM gas applies to gas production from difficult acreages also. Now again the statement is incorrect. Why? Because changes in pricing formula for domestic APM gas do not apply to gas production from difficult acreages. Now what does this difficult acreages mean? Like deep water, ultra deep water, high temperature and high pressure fields. Now let's come to the last statement. The new formula does not provide for ceiling and floor prices for APM gases. Now this statement is incorrect. Why? Because new pricing regime also provides for ceiling and floor prices with the intention of shielding consumers from high prices while ensuring that the producers are not forced to book losses on gas sales. So all three statements are incorrect. So our answer is option D, that is 1, 2 and 3. Answer of this PYQ is option A. Now our next question is based on this article which appeared on page 6 in the Hindu newspaper. Context is that Union Cabinet has approved a gravitational wave detector project that is LIGO India in Hingoli district in Maharashtra, costing rupees 2600 crores and estimated to be built by 2030. Now what is this LIGO? This is Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, which is an international network of laboratories meant to detect gravitational waves. Now advancement in size is quite important theme for your UPSC prelims examination. Like this question based on EL Lisa came in year 2017. So here we have taken a practice question based on gravitational waves. In this question you have to identify correct statements. So the first statement is gravitational waves are ripples in space time caused when massive objects move with extreme accelerations. Now this statement is correct as gravitational waves are ripples in space time caused when massive objects move with extreme accelerations. Now let's come to the second statement. They are invisible but travel at a speed lower than the speed of light. Now this aspect is correct that they are invisible but they travel at a speed of light not at a speed lower than the speed of light. So they squeeze and stretch anything in their path as they pass by. 
So this statement is incorrect. Now let's come to the third statement. Gravitational waves by nature are much more stronger than the electromagnetic radiation. Now one thing you should know that gravitational radiation is exceedingly difficult to detect. Why? Because gravity by nature is much weaker than electromagnetic radiation. So this statement is incorrect. And gravity is the weakest of the four fundamental forces of nature. So answer of this practice question is option A that is one only and answer of this P by Q is option B. Now important agreements and negotiation happening at world level are important theme from the perspective of the UPSC prelims examination. As in year 2017, it has asked a question based on broad based trade and investment agreement. So on the similar lines we have taken up practice question based on another important initiative which is featured in news recently. Question says investment facilitation agreement is sometimes mentioned in the news in the context of the affairs of. So investment facilitation agreement was launched in year 2017 by a group of developing and least developed WTO members that is World Trade Organization. So this joint initiative aims at developing a multilateral agreement on investment facilitation for development that will improve the investment and business climate. So answer of this practice question is option D, that is World Trade Organization. Now inspiration of this question comes from this article which appeared on page 6 in the Hindu newspaper. And this article is about the investment facilitation agreement which is backed by more than 100 countries and you should remember that it does not include India. So author of this article suggests that India should consider joining this agreement and provides reasoning for the same. Answer of this PYQ is option A. Now our next question is based on this article and context is that Saudi Omani delegation is planning to travel to Yemen's capital that is Sana next week to hash out a permanent ceasefire deal with Houthis officials and end the country's 8 years old conflict. Now UPSC has been asking question based on region often mentioned in news like this question came in year 2022. So on the similar pattern we have curated practice question based on quotes in news. So in this question you have to identify the correct pairs. So the first option is Hamad port. Now this pair is incorrect. Why? Because Hamad is the main seaport of Qatar situated south of Doha. So with this you can eliminate option D. Next is Dabam port which is located in Saudi Arabia. So this pair is correct. Next is Bandar Abbas port which is the main maritime outlet of Iran as it lies on the coast of Hormuz Bay across the Hormuz Islands. So this pair is correct. So you can eliminate option A here. Next is Hodida port and this is the main seaport of Yemen and not in Qatar. So this pair is incorrect. So here the correct answer is option B. That is only two pairs are correct. Answer of this PYQ is option B. Now UPSC has been asking question based on important conservation areas like National Park, Tiger Reserve, Biosphere Reserve. This question based on largest area under critical tiger habitat which came in year 2020. So here we have curated practice question based on similar theme. So in this question you have to identify correct statements with respect to Dibang Wildlife Century. The first statement is, it is the fourth tiger reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. So this statement is incorrect. Why? Because recently National Tiger Conservation Authority chief said that Dibang Wildlife Century, which is in Arunachal Pradesh, would soon be notified as tiger reserve. So currently, it is not a tiger reserve. Second statement is, Edo Mishimi, which is a sub-tribe of the city's group, has strong ties with the region's rich flora and fauna. Now again this statement is incorrect. Why? Because Ido Mishimi is a tribe of the larger Mishimi group in Arunachal Pradesh and neighboring Tibet. Though they have strong ties with the region's rich flora and fauna. So here both the statements are incorrect. So our answer is option D that is neither one nor two. Now why we have taken practice question based on Dibang Wildlife Century? Because Indo Mishimi group are traditionally animists. This tribe has strong ties with the Divangs, rich flora and fauna. And tigers are especially important to this tribe. Why? According to Hindu mythology, they were born to the same mother 
and thus tigers are their elder brothers so it is because of these cultural beliefs that tigers thrive in this areas and the tribe has been vociferously opposing any move to convert wildlife sanctuary into a tiger reserve fearing that the move will cut off access to their land now coming back to the pyq answer of this pyq is option c now let's come to the next practice question and question says with reference to the doklam valley consider following statements now why we have taken this question because upsc has been asking various map based question like this question based on glacier and river came in year 2019 so coming back to the practice question in this you have to identify correct statements with reference to doklam valley the first statement is it comprises a plateau and a valley at the tri junction between india myanmar and china now doklam or doklam in chinese is an area spread over less than 100 square kilometer comprises a plateau and a valley at the tri junction between india bhutan and china so with this our first statement is incorrect second statement is it is surrounded by the chumbi valley of tibet bhutan's he valley and sikkim this statement is correct so here our answer is option b that is two only answer of this p by q is option d now why we have taken question on doklam because during the three day visit of bhutan king to new delhi recently the two sides sought to put a lid on the controversy in india over the remarks of the bhutanese prime minister about border talks between his country and china and which again bought spotlight on doklam 